How much do you trust Google with your data? You see, every time you do a search on google.com, it's actually creating a bigger and bigger profile on you. Your likes, your dislikes, and even your shopping habits are tracked by all of these big companies. So what can we do about it? Well, maybe we can move to a different search engine. DuckDuckGo, for example, that's private, right? Well, no, because they have a weird deal with Microsoft where they sell all of the data they collect to Microsoft. So it feels wherever you go online to do your searching, you are being watched and profiled by these massive companies. And there really isn't anything we can do about it. That is until now. You see, over the last few years, more and more people have been coming up with brand new solutions to decouple themselves from these big mega corporations. The software you, we are using today is called Seer XNG, and it basically does the same thing. It allows you to create a very own private instance of a search engine that can be run on anything from a local machine to a server. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how we can go from nothing to a brand new search engine of our very own on our local machine in under five minutes. So let's talk about how Seer XNG actually works. How we were just talking about how each of these search engines creates a profile on you every time you search. Well, what Sia XNG is actually doing is using the big five. So all of the search engines, they are making queries out to. And these queries are brand new queries with brand new tracking profiles. So it doesn't know anything about you. It doesn't have any kind of tracking data attached to it. And it serves all of this data to you in your own profile and your own page. Every single time you make a search, a new profile is created. So it doesn't know anything about you. And this is key here. We aren't just using the searches from google.com. We can use the searches from Google, Bing, Ask Jeeves, uh, DuckDuckGo, as many or as few providers as we want to really tailor the experience. Now, you might notice while using this search engine that it's not gonna be precise. You'll find that actually over time, if you start to use Google again and start to use it more and more, your searches will become more and more relevant to you. That's because it understands you. Seer XNG does not understand you, so it's going to provide you with what it believes is the best results for you, but it might not be the best results for you. So just keep that in mind, it might take a little bit of getting used to, and you might have to search a little harder than you did before to get the results that you actually expected. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. I'm on the Docker website because we need Docker to be able to deploy this. Um, it works for Mac, it works for Windows, it works for Linux, and it's gonna look something like this once you've downloaded it. It will say containers, images, volumes, but we don't have to worry too much about that for now. I will talk you through the whole process. The other thing that we might want to look at is the GitHub pages for both of these projects. This is Seer XNG, which is the kind, which is the basis of our search engine. This is the source code of it. We can go through this and we can look at every single piece of this and understand exactly how it works if we want to. But for now, we're actually going to worry about the Docker version of it. So Seer XNG dash Docker. So let's go ahead and jump into our command line. I've already got a folder set up called not Google and that's where we're going to clone this project into. So we're going to use git clone and then cloning that Docker version of it, remembering that it, we want the Docker version. So we've already downloaded it, I've already synced this one down and it's in my library ready to go. This will take a couple of minutes depending on your internet speed. But once we've done that, we actually need to do something quite important and that is generate an open SSL key. I found the best way to do this is to generate our key here. So all we really want to do is open SSL, which is the standard, and we're going to create a random hex with 32 digits. So there we go. We've got our new key. This key now needs to go in a very special folder. So if we look inside of our not Google folder, search Docker, uh, search XNG, and we've got our settings.yml file. We'll open that up in whatever we choose. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code and we see the secret key as ultra secret key. We actually need to change that to our ultra secret key that we just generated. Don't worry, I won't be using this one for very long. Now we're pretty much ready to go. So all we need to do now is in here, use Docker Compose to compose and set up this project. So it's docker hyphen uh, slash composed 
up slash D. I've noticed that actually we aren't in the folder. If we ls, we are going to want to cd into the cxng docker folder. Then use that same command again, that docker compose, and just like that, like magic, we have started our brand new search engine. If we head over to Docker Desktop now as well, we can see that it is live and it's running here. And it's running on 8080. So if we click that, ta-da! This is our search engine. It really was that simple. So now we can search anything that we want in here. Coffee, for example. And the first thing we get is, of course, uh, Wikipedia. And we can see that those have come from a few different places, DuckDuckGo, Quart, Google. Starbucks is the first one that comes up when you search when you search coffee on Google. But when you search on DuckDuckGo, it's Wikipedia. So we're seeing all of these different versions of what we're looking for. We also have image search here as well. Video search news search and this is all just like using any other uh, search engine but this one is completely private to us and it really was that simple to get it set up and get it running it, it's just i am amazed by how easy this actually is of course this is running on my local machine so i can't go ahead and use my iphone or my ipad to launch this website because the instance is on this machine but for the most part that's fine because I'm the only one who's going to be using that this in my household. If we did want to run it on a server, then we can do that. And if you want to know how to do that, let me know in the comment section down below and we can do that. If we head into our preferences section, there are a few things we can change here as well. For example, autocomplete, we can have the Google autocomplete. Say a surf search, I'm not that bothered by safe searching. And we can also do things like changing the interface from the themes. We've got a few different themes that we can choose, light or dark. Of course, we always want dark themes. In terms of privacy, we can choose the kind of methods that we go for HTTP. Normally, I would suggest using GET for this. And image proxies are always useful to use as well. In terms of search engines, we can see that we've got an absolute ton of different ones to choose from. For the, at the moment, we actually aren't using Bing, but we can turn that on. We can also use Brave. We could use any other search engine that realistically we want. Same with images. For example, if we don't want to see images from DuckDuckGo, then we can just turn those off. It really is that simple to customise and get everything ready to go. So I'm going to save all of this. Uh, I'm going to go back to my Docker because it looks like it did crash there. And now when we start searching, a few seconds later, we have that autocomplete. There we go, guys. It really is that simple. So let's jump back to me over there for the outro. So there we have it, guys. That is CXNG. We now have our very own search engine that we can run on our local machine. As I mentioned, if you do want to know how to run this on a server or something similar, then let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any questions as well, then again, let me know in the comment section. I will be happy to help you in any way I can. Anyway, guys, my name's been Robert. This has been Review Clue, and I will catch you in the next one. Adios.